Hello guys, Emmanuel from WP Marks here and in this video I'm going to show you how to add keywords in WordPress without plugins. So if you want to add keywords to your WordPress website, to the home page or to your post without using any plugin, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, so first off, um, you need to log into the backend of your website, obviously. Uh, I'm using the information from this article over here. I'm going to leave it in the description so you can use this article to uh, follow through the video. So, so there are basically two um, parts of your websites where you would want to add keywords. First would be at the home page. So all the pages on your website, you would want to have um, a form of um, keyword placement there. So if you go over to the article, you're going to notice here, the first instruction is adding um, uh, this meta tag here to your header file so we'll go back to our dashboard and we'll go over to appearance and we'll click on team editor okay so just go to team editor and what this does is just going to load up your team file so it's going to bring up all the files responsible for your theme so what we're going to what we're looking for here is the header.php or team header so it's normally here just click on it so once you're at your team header um you're just going to look for this meta tag. So just scroll till you get to where you find the meta, these meta tags here. Okay. Or you can also just add it, add the code after the head, the opening head tag here. Okay. So for the code, um, we're going to be using this code here. I'm going to leave this in the description and you can also get it from here on the article on WP marks. Okay. So I'm going to leave everything in the description. Of this video so I'm just gonna paste this in here and um, what you're gonna do is you, you're gonna edit the content of this so the name of this is keywords so whatever keyword you're planning to add to your website you're just gonna type this here so we could add in something like business and if you have more you can separate with comma and write something like finance um, commerce and so on and so forth okay so you can add as many keywords as you like here. And that's essentially how you add keywords to your website. Okay. So what this is going to do is whenever this header file is being called, it's going to add this meta tag here. So when Google or any search engine visits your website, they're going to see this meta tag of keywords and they're going to read the content and know what the page is about. In order to add keywords and meta description to all of your posts, um, you would need to add a function. So if you go over to that school, you're going to see the function over here. So locate the team functions.php file and scroll down to the bottom and add the code over here. Okay. So you can just copy this and add here. So I'm, I already have this copied. I'm just going to paste it here. And once you've pasted this, um, it's, it should generate meta descriptions and meta keywords for all your posts automatically so i'm going to explain how this uh function works first off it strips your post content of tags and short codes then it uh, truncates your the content to 125 characters because 125 characters is the standard for meta descriptions then it assigns the uh categories that you've assigned to the articles as the keywords so once it's done with all this computation it's just going to output this in two different meta tags so the first meta tag is description and the second one is keywords so if you have an article with three different um categories the keyword for that um article are going to be those three different cat um, categories and the description is going to be the first 125 characters in the post content okay so that's how this works. It does, it works automatically and affects all the posts on your website, both existing and new ones you're, that, and any new posts you create. So I'd advise you use something like Yoast or Rank Mats for adding keywords because this is quite difficult to manage and you don't really get as much freedom as you might want because this is being generated um, dynamically. 
But if you are, if you're in a situation where you can't add a plugin like yours or rank mats, then this should work for you. So once you're done with this, just click on the update file and it's going to add this to your website. Okay. So you can get this code from the description or you can go over to this article. I'm going to add a link to the article, um, in the description below. So that's about it for this video. If you found it useful, please leave a like and you can subscribe to the channel for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video.